When I got to BYU, I was ready to take the university by storm and start dating like crazy and get married fast. I heard that BYU girls would marry a tree as long as it served a mission, and this gave me hope. And this stereotype was true to some extent. However, I found something more unique and confusing about Mormon girls while I was at BYU. And that's what I want to talk about today. I didn't date at all growing up, so BYU was going to be my baptism through fire. I was self-conscious in the beginning because I didn't know how to start flirting with a girl. So I just talked with every girl and asked for the number, and this worked. A lot. I was getting numbers left and right, and I really thought I was being so suave. But my ego was quickly shattered because I learned something critical about Mormon girls my first semester at BYU, and that is that Mormon girls are too nice. The following might apply to Mormon guys, but I don't know because I am not the one trying to date them. I remember one time there was a girl in my ward who I thought was cute. I wanted to get to know better, so when I saw her at a party I went to talk to her. We talked for a while and she seemed to enjoy the conversation so I told her that my roommates were going to watch a movie on the weekend and that she should come. With a smile she agreed and I asked her for her number and she gave it to me. I was excited and I told one of my roommates what happened. He was confused because he wasn't sure who I was talking about. So I pointed out the girl in our ward directory, which is also referred to as the ward menu by students. My roommate said that I must be mistaken because the girl that I pointed out was already dating someone. I didn't believe him because this girl never mentioned that she had a boyfriend. And if she did, why would she give me her number and agree to hang out with me? I looked her up on Facebook and he was absolutely correct. This girl was dating another guy in the ward. My roommate said this happens a lot because Mormon girls are too nice and they don't like to say no to guys, which was surprising and confusing to me. This wouldn't be the first time that I was confused by a nice Mormon girl. I remember hanging out with some people from the ward and there was a cute girl there and we started talking and she asked me if I wanted a massage. I was flattered but I turned her down because I'm not a touchy feely person. So she went to the next guy and asked him if he wanted a massage and then the next guy and then the next guy, and then the next guy, and I think you get the point. Sure you can say maybe this girl in particular just really likes to give massages, but this wasn't the case. Looking back, I was offered massages from so many girls at BYU. I even started to question if I was at a university or if I was at a massage therapy school. Maybe I'm weird, but I would only offer a massage to someone if I liked them, or if they're my mom. So this wouldn't be an issue if these girls were actually interested in me. But my experience was that most of them weren't. When I would finally muster the courage to ask out a girl that I liked, and I was pretty sure it liked me, because we would talk regularly, she would give me her number, and agree to hang out. They would either ghost me, or they would say yes to the date, and then cancel on me. I would say this happened with about 80% of the girls that I asked out. I do admit that I didn't date much at BYU, but this was one of the main reasons why. It was difficult to figure out which girls were actually interested in me. I think the issue is that many Mormon girls simply want to avoid confrontation and didn't want to reject a guy in their face because this would make them feel bad. I understand that the dating process is different for guys and girls and it sucks to reject someone because you don't want them to feel bad, but that's just life. Guys are expected to initiate the dating process and girls have the responsibility of either showing interest so that the guy can move forward or tell them no so that the guy can move on to other prospects. Sure, you shouldn't be mean about it, but don't feel bad about rejecting a guy that you have zero interest in, because that's just part of dating and a part of life. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. I'll talk to you later.